Yep. And it's recording? All right, great. Uh, so tell everybody your name. I'm Connie Rodriguez. Connie, uh, I found out that Connie actually went to Buck Road Beach Park. Well, I actually worked at Buck Road Beach Park. Yes. Yeah. So you actually have first-hand knowledge about it. So this is a park I wanted to talk about. It was in uh, Hampton, Virginia. So how far from here? Uh, about an hour. About an hour. And uh, I found out about this place. Opened uh, 1895, closed in 1985. Uh, and so I have some stuff I'm going to show you. You can tell me if I have any information wrong and also tell me anything you know about it. Uh, make sure to get to the screen when I put the pictures up just so everybody can see it uh, uh, wherever you show the video. Um, so this is an aerial shot that was taken from a, a balloon in 1897. So look at that. Someone was in a hot air balloon took this uh, aerial photo of the park, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, this here is a news video about the closing. Now, when you worked there, what year was it? Uh, I was there in 80 and 81. So you were there a couple of years before. Do you remember when it closed? Were you still in the area? No, actually, I had moved up to Charlottesville. Right? Okay. So you didn't even hear it was closing? Yeah, or? I did hear about it. Okay. Here's a, this is a news clip I found. So. They're saying goodbye. One last picture of the Buffalo Beach Amusement Park, an attraction to young and old since 1895. Inside the park, you begin to think how many, how many people walk through the gates, how many will this ride seemingly as old as the World War II airplanes it imitates. How many times do you figure this clown whipped his ice cream cone? How many romances began on the beach? So the, the ducky pond is that uh, the one where you're are you punching the ducks over no, or do you pick, the duck pick them up. with the uh, and so there's the little kids and if, if they if it has a uh, like a green on the bottom or whatever yeah. color then they get a certain prize 
And uh, what do you remember about that? Was it was it hard? I mean, did most kids come away with something? Oh, or everybody it? got something. Okay. It's usually a little cheap flash with that. That sounds great. And then uh, tell me about the other game. The strings. Yeah, how did that go? It was just a bunch of strings that went up, and when you pulled one, it pulled up a number, and you got that prize. Okay. So these were aimed at little kids yeah. to make sure they got a prize. So this is kind of like a boardwalk carnival section yes. of the park. That's great. That's great. And what was your favorite thing to do when you went there as a guest? What was your favorite rides to go on? Anything like Tilt that? Tilt-a-whirl. Tilt-a-whirl. Yep. Very good. Very good. Uh, here is... Uh, the carousel. So the carousel was a 1920s carousel. It's one of only 200 antique carousels in the U.S. Uh, it's currently operated by the Hampton History Museum. So this is an old picture of it. You can actually, if you look here, like look at this guy. You can see how, uh, how old that is. Here is a modern photo of it. Um, it still has the original mirrors and oil paintings as well as 48 intri intricately decorated horses. Um, they rise and, and fall to the original band organ and it says, many of these carousel horses are so finely carved that the veins in their neck and legs are visible, which is really cool. Um, now, we talked, uh, before we came in, we were discussing something. In the video you saw, they showed the entrance to Buck Road Beach Park. And the way it looked in that video, this stuff at the top wasn't there. Um, and that's how it was when you remember it. Like, that top part was long gone. Um, and that was for the monkey section. What do they call it? Monkey Island. Monkey Island. I have some pictures of that. But if you look at that, the best I can tell, there's only a few pictures that are old enough to show that that I've been able to find. But there's two monkeys up here, I guess. This one clearly is a monkey. I can't tell if he's dressed like a clown or a baseball player. I assume that's a monkey on that side, but that it's kind of hard to tell. But I noticed that there's these dots. And it looks like up here is one that goes up. So it's like up and then down. And I'm wondering if it was like a series of lights that would go off, like it, to give the illusion of movement, like it would go boop, 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 over. But I'd love to find out more about that. But I, I couldn't get a, a really good picture of it. I did find a picture online of the Monkey Island. Uh, we were talking about, you were mentioning like Facebook groups. This is one of the best things today is that everybody can share their pictures. And so many people will just, you know, find a box of old pictures and scan them and then post them online thinking maybe somebody wants to check this out. And people say, oh my God, I remember that. I haven't seen a picture of it in 40 years. Or... So this is uh, Monkey Island. Uh, in the 1900s, they said Monkey Island was a popular attraction there. Um, they eventually closed it down. Uh, there was a beach there. This was a picture of bathing beauties on the beach in... Uh, Probably about that was before oh. my time. <laughs> some years ago. Certainly on uh, part of that video. You got a question? Yeah, it just came in. Where is this? This is Buckrow Beach Park. It's not there anymore. It closed down in, uh, what, 1985. Yeah. But it was open uh, about 100 years. Uh, it was about an hour from here. And uh, what was the name of the town? Buckrow Beach was in Hampton, Hampton, Hampton Virginia. Um, so it said that the roller coaster was torn down and sold for lumber. Uh, this is a picture of them uh, dismantling the, the sign and kind of updating it earlier. This uh, was uh, around the 1960s was when the park started losing money. Uh, I found an article about the closing of the park and the owner said that the last profitable year of the park, oh, look at you, you sweetheart, thank you. Um, the last profitable year of the park, the owner said, was 1968 and it didn't close till 85. So he said he was losing money from 68 to 85. He said in 1979 alone, he lost half a million dollars. Uh, uh, so it was bleeding money for a while. And so this is, uh, by the way, you like this again, we were talking about that stuff on the top. I can't tell what that is over there. But, uh, here's another picture from the park. Uh, this was a motorcycle ride that they had after an update in 1979, which they hoped would bring people back to the park, and unfortunately it didn't work, so spending that extra money uh, really pushed them to the end, and in 1985, uh, they shut the place down. This is the demolition, which happened in 1987, so you can see the uh, original facade there coming down, and the roller coaster coming apart. Do you have anything else you can remember about it? Anything else you want to tell us? Well, I probably shouldn't say it, but Smitty, the guy that was above Dennis, he used to hire all his kids and pay us a buck fifty an hour. And then the labor board would come in and tell us we couldn't work because we were too young. And 
then he fires and then he hires back the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the statue of limitations is gone. <laughs> Um, well, I thank you so much thank for you. coming up and talking to me about this. To come up here. Everybody, a big round of applause. I, it is, uh, it's not always easy to come up and, you know, in the front and talk, and I really appreciate it. You did a great job, and I uh, really appreciate hearing your version of this story. Uh,